The Risk Takers presents Bobby's Burgers, created by Alexandra Schulke, Adrian Rolden, and Austin Mukazis. Through our TV series, our purpose is to introduce our audience to management principles in an easy-to-understand, humorous way. We want to make sure it's enjoyable as well as informational, and we think that creating a spin-off of this popular show will keep the interest of the audience. In this TV series, the audience will learn different managerial styles, concepts, and processes that the characters will use to overcome the struggles that they encounter along the way. Why Bobby's Burgers? We chose to base our show off the hit animated series Bob's Burgers in hopes of attracting the viewers who already watch and love the show. As you will see, the characters are very relatable and lovable to all audiences who realize that their personalities and behaviors are already so different and distinct, so applying management concepts to them would result in dynamic and interesting outcomes that will keep the audience intrigued and anxious to see how their story unfolds. We will now discuss the individual characters in the TV series to give you a sense of the various personalities that will be conveyed throughout the episodes. We begin with the owner of the restaurant, Bobby Belcher. He is a 42-year-old cook and entrepreneur who is excited to go on his six-month training to a hamburger conference. He is usually a timid manager and very reluctant on changing the way of business. However, Bobby is a strong leader and supportive father who only wants the best for them and his business. He is late, nervous about leaving the business in the hands of his wife, who is known to come up with unexpected ideas that may not get results she expects. As he gets updates on his wife, Linda, on the changes occurring in the restaurant, he is always willing to give advice and insight into their ideas and pursuits. Next, we have Linda Belcher, who is the amazing wife of Bob. She is a 40-year-old mother of Louis, Jean, and Tina. Year-round, she is the assistant manager of Bob's Burgers, but recently got promoted to a manager as Bobby leaves to the burger convention. She has an outgoing personality and is great at coming up with new ideas for the business. Although driven and ambitious to enhance their business, she is very impulsive and not nearly as cautious about decisions as Bobby. However, with her kids and Teddy's support while Bobby is away, they create ways to overcome challenges and prove to Bobby that they can restructure and enhance their business by implementing foundational managerial concepts. Next, we have Teddy, a 55-year-old local who comes in to eat at Bob's Burgers every single day. He loves the burgers as much as he loves the family and even considers them his family. With Bobby gone, he eventually joins in on the phone and works at the restaurant to offer assistance to the new manager, Linda. Teddy is a very reserved and methodical in the way he goes about accomplishing tasks. Consequently, he can get easily flustered if things start spiraling out of control. He is also very realistic when analyzing new ideas, which comes into play when the rest of the team develop extraneous ideas for gaining competitive advantage. Louis Belcher is a 17-year-old daughter who is very energetic and outgoing. Like her mother Linda, she is constantly scheming the next big idea and displays features of being a strong and natural leader. She is also very understanding, realizes when an idea won't work, and is always willing to collaborate. Jean Belcher is the youngest of the family at 16 years old. Like his mom Linda and sister Louis, he is also charismatic and always wants to put in his opinions and ideas. He is very confident in his ability, but likes to take the easy way out by covering up his mistakes and finding the fastest results, which have led to situations getting worse before they get better in the past. Tina Belcher is the oldest child of the family at 18 years old. She is the quiet one of the group and opts for processes to stay the same despite the challenges that face the team. She tries to stay out of trouble and avoid conflict and confrontation, 
since dynamic situations are stressful for her. Even though Tina is quiet, she is a hard worker and does exactly what she is told. The last character we discuss is Hugo Habakor, the city's relentless health inspector. Not only is he known for closing the most businesses ever in the city's history, but he happens to be Linda's ex-fiancé to make matters more difficult. He demands that the team come up with a solution within the next 72 hours or the business will be shut down. He becomes the main antagonist in episodes 5 and 6. Our target audience is business students and professionals between the ages of 18 and 35 years old because these shows are meant to demonstrate managerial concepts that they can apply as they enter or continue to work in a business setting. However, this TV series may be enjoyed by people of all ages since the setting takes place in an easily understood business setting, which is the Burger Diner. We chose this setting for our show because restaurant operations are fairly simple to understand the most audiences. The setting and plot also provide us the chance to exaggerate the circumstances and challenges in order to provide a comedic aspect of the show. For example, you will see the lengths the team will go in order to gain competitive advantage over their new competition, including some very interesting new recipes that no burger restaurant has offered before. The format of our TV series includes seven episodes in total. The next five episodes will consist of short videos, each focusing on various management concepts covered in the third edition of the management textbook by Michael Hitt, J. Stewart Black, and Lemon Porter. The first episode is an introduction to the series, setting the scene, and plot of the story, starting with Bobby announcing his temporary departure to a burger conference. The second episode establishes the nature of the new management structure as well as each individual's duties. Here we will see how their interactions are cross-functional, yet aim toward achieving the same goals. The third episode dives into the major problem the team encounters, which is new competition. In fact, a new burger restaurant opens up right across the street and begins taking their customers. The team brainstorms different strategies to overcome this new challenge and ultimately decides on developing a new product line. The fourth episode focuses on the planning process, including the action steps that the Bobby's Burgers team will take in order to implement the new product line of burger flavors. After analyzing their external environments and internal resources, each individual comes up with unique recipes of burgers. Their new product line proves to be a success. The fifth episode introduces another challenge that comes up, an ethical dilemma regarding food safety. Hugo Habakor, the city health inspector, barges in the restaurant where rumors spread of multiple people becoming sick from the new product line of burger flavors. To make matters worse, Hugo is the ex-fiancé of Linda and gives him a hard time. They have 72 hours to develop a plan to improve their situation quickly and effectively. The sixth episode addresses the classical decision-making model and how the team utilizes it to determine the how they will set a better food safety and preparation program. They ensure the town health inspector that the employees are aware of the importance of food safety and are trained properly. Finally, the last and seventh episode will include the group reflection stating what we have learned and experienced through the process and share tips for the future students. Our group has worked together to produce work meeting the criteria of this project. With both milestones 1 and 2, we received an excellent grade despite certain obstacles. Currently, our group is adapting to our fourth group member being absent. We will continue to adapt with this midterm presentation and into the future milestones 3 and 4.